G'day, it's Phil here back. Okay, we're going to be working on prescribed dose. Now, prescribed dose is pretty straightforward. It's going to be the ratio of the normal dose uh, going by the adult and the child comparison. Okay, so being that we're working today with formulas, I would like you to take a pen and draw a line down the side of your sheet. This is where all your variables go. All right. So what we're going to do is firstly look at prescribed dose. And that is equal to the body surface area over 1.73 times the adult dose. Now, that all seems pretty straightforward, I'm sure. What I want you to notice is that you're taking the adult dose and you're looking at a ratio. The body surface area compared to this lower number here. Now, as you know, that the body surface area was in meters squared. So this is actually going to be this in meters squared as well. So mathematically looking at this formula, this is the average adult. They have a body surface area of 1.73 meters squared. So just so you keep in mind that that is the adult. So if you're working on a child, this is going to be less. Okay, because as you're going to expect, the, the adult is going to be smaller than the, um, no sorry, the child is going to be smaller than the adult. Uh, therefore, you're going to have an overall ratio here that is less than one. Okay, less than one. All right, for this entire thing here. Now, if you know that ahead of time, then you know that if it is something more than one, there's probably a stuff up, or you're working with a very large adult. Okay, but being that this is mostly pediatrics, uh, you are not really expecting that. You should be able to see it according to the height and weight, according to um, the information you were given originally. Okay, so just understand the formula. It's a ratio of the adult. Therefore, the 1.73 would be the average adult in meters squared. The body surface area would be of the child, which is going to be less than 1.73. That way uh, you're going to end up with a ratio of less than one that's multiplied by the adult. Okay, let's work through a problem. We use some old numbers. Simply, uh, I've already got a lot of the uh, paperwork done on it. Makes my life easier. Okay, so we're going to do the the body surface area and as you know that is weight times height over 3600 okay now being that it's all under a square root sign you work out the numbers in here first before you do the square root don't try and be clever okay let's get some values for this over on the side here, we have the values. Okay, so we're going to have weight equals 30 kilograms. Height equals 100 centimeters. Remembering that these units are particular for this constant. If you are not working with centimeters or kilograms, it will not work with this formula. The 3600 is a constant given for those units. If you're working in imperial units of feet or inches and uh, pounds, it's going to be a different variable. So the American sums are different. Okay? Just so that you've got that in mind. So, the next line. And don't be afraid to use up paper. Paper is cheap. People want to crowd everything in. That is a bullshit idea. Use up the paper. Okay. So, the weight is 30 kilograms times 100 centimeters over 3600 equals 
Now, plugging that through, and I won't worry about tapping on the calculator because I already screwed this video up once, so I have the, uh, the values in front of me. That is 0 0.8333, it's 3 continuous, okay? When I square root that, that is 0 0.91 meters squared, okay? So now we have, and we use the side here, BSA equals 0 0.91 meters squared, okay? We're only going to two points here because we have a minimum of two here, okay? We've got two numbers there in this whole number, so two values, two values, okay? That's the quick version of how to do the uh, very quick rounding off, okay? Um, we know that it's uh, in the full value, it's closer to 0.91 than 0.92, okay? So that's why we rounded off at that. Now, moving on, the BSA is 0 0.91, I've got it written right here. So the prescribed dose is the BSA over 1.73 times adult dose. Notice that I'm writing the formula down each time. Now there's a purpose to that. Every time I write it down, I'm taking it in visually and I'm taking it in with my physical movements. Okay, that makes me better able to remember that formula. When you've written something down hundreds of times, you're not going to damn well forget it. Okay, so write it down each time. Later on, let's say in a couple of years, when it's no longer important, you can do it automatically, you can do half of it in your head then you can skip without the formula. At this point in time, don't try and be smart. This is about getting the right answer, getting through you through your exams. Okay, so we have a child who's 30 kilos, 100 centimeters. They end up with a body surface area of 0 0.91 over 1.73 times. Now, Let's say that the adult dose of this particular drug, it's probably paracetamol or whatever, who cares? Okay, so the adult dose equals 500 milligrams. Okay, so we put in 500 here. We know that being a child, they're going to be less than 500 milligrams. If it's more than 500 um, milligrams, you're probably going to kill them, okay? So we know that an adult is that, so we know that this ratio is going to be less than one. Now, depending on the child, you can usually take a bit of a look at them and say, yeah, it's going to be half, okay? Well, let's have a look-see. All right, so 0 0.91 over 1.73, that actually works out to 0 0.526 times 500 milligrams, so it is just over half, equals 263 milligrams. Always have your units, otherwise you don't know what you're giving them, okay? Now your units are going to be identical to what you've got here. Your adult dosage your units are transferable down to here because you are doing a ratio. That's your ratio of the adult dose. So you end up with the same units down here. All right. So now we're nearly at the answer. That's, that's too precise. Given that we've got two digits given in that answer. So we want two digits to be rounded off at. Now, 263, well, okay, is it going to be closer to 260 or 270, being that 263 is in between? 260 is closer to 263 than what it is 270. So the answer for this is, <laughs> because I've been saying that out loud, I write it down, 260 milligrams, okay? 
Now that is the final correct answer. All right, so working from this key points, have a column with your variables in. Understand what the things are in the, the formula. This is a ratio so that you can determine what the child is compared to an adult. Round it off according to the minimum number of digits. Okay? It's not hard, it's not rocket science. With a bit of practice, you'll get this down pat. But in the meantime, do it step by step. Don't skip out steps. Don't try and do this in one run and do not try and do it all on your calculator without anything on paper. Now, the reason for that is a lot of the university and a lot of college, if you are able to show most of the working out, even if your answer here is wrong, then at least you're shown that, okay, if it's, if it's a larger sum, for example, then this might be worth two marks and that might be worth two marks. It would be the working out here and the answer one mark each. The working out here and the answer is the other mark each. If you end up with the wrong answer here, you may still get three out of four. If you're showing all of the correct technique, you may still have three out of four, even if you've got the answer wrong. If you go through with mathematics and just punch it through a calculator, then you get the answer wrong. Guess what? You've lost all the points. Now, important part of this also is that if you are working as a professional and there is a mistake made and you cannot show your working, if you cannot show how you've determined what a dosage is, that number one shows that you're, you're unprofessional. Number two is that they should be able to come along and look at your working and be able to say, oh yeah, yeah, correct, 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 correct. Okay, um, there must have been a mistake elsewhere. Okay. So it's about being accountable as well. In maths, unless you have a way that somebody can look at your working out and verify it, then you've just wasted your time. Okay? So always do it longhand. Do it where you're filling in the numbers, filling in the values. Paper is cheap. Use it up. Okay? I don't mean waste a whole tree, but it's about putting it out so that you can easily do things. Do not try and do everything in one line. That is a method used by those who are either expert or, well, quite frankly, not very smart. Okay? Alrighty. Hopefully I haven't insulted too many people that are important. Um, and, uh, yeah, please enjoy. I'll... Uh, up another formula sheet in a moment. Thank you.